we saw the need for people to contribute to uh, apply their expertise into into virus um, and coronavirus uh, research to try and do our part to find new uh, potential therapies for, for this disease. As the country works to vaccinate the masses, there are others that have been working on creative ways to combat COVID-19. Before the pandemic, a team at Ryerson University in Toronto, Ontario, had been working on repurposing drug candidates for cancer therapies. However, as COVID-19 began to devastate the world, they decided to shift their focus on finding approved drugs that would be effective in treating the virus. So the type of drug that we've been able to find is something called an antiviral, which means that it uh, is a drug that will go and bind to something in um, either in the, the virus or in uh, a human cell that the virus needs and, and block the activity of that um, typically protein. And what that does is it prevents the virus from being able to make more copies of itself, more copies of the virus. So it helps your immune system essentially by leveling the playing field and making the immune system have fewer viruses to hunt down and inactivate. Antonescu also told City News how this drug could be helpful for people suffering from COVID-19. There are some antivirals that are currently being used to treat patients, uh, and those tend to be given to patients um, that are uh, experiencing some severe uh, disease, some severe disease symptoms of COVID-19. So they could be helpful in some cases for patients with uh, COVID-19 um, that, are, that are suffering the most um, from those acute symptoms. Uh, it could also be something that we might find helpful down the road um, to hopefully uh, help us, give us some tools to fight some of the long-term effects of COVID-19 of patients that recover, uh, but still experience some, some symptoms um, weeks and months later, uh, but that will remain to be tested. So the more of these antiviral drugs we have available, the, the better uh, uh, physicians will be able to uh, to treat those patients. The next step in their research is to begin human testing. And if you'd like more information about their research, you can find a link by going to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.